Um, as you might know, each year, uh, we in UNDP bring a special personality to this event. Uh, last year, we had Michelle Yeoh, who was our ambassador for gender equality, a very important topic that we in UNDP tried to champion. This year, we're trying to do things a little bit different. Um, and we have actually looked at what type of champions and what type of issues we also need to confront as we move towards 2030. And one of the areas that often comes up, whether it's from young people or business, is how do we deal with the challenge of technology, the challenge of innovation, as well as with uh, the new challenges that also are brought up with artificial intelligence. And therefore, today here we will be launching our first ever innovation champion for UNDP in Asia and Pacific. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our first ever non-human innovation champion, Sophia. <laughs> well, hello, Sophia, and welcome to UNDP. And welcome to the wonderful Responsive Business Forum. Yako, where is Jimmy Fallon? I thought I was going to be interviewed by someone famous. They told me Jimmy would be here. Well, you know, Jimmy was a little bit busy uh, today. I know that you've been on The Tonight Show. You've been on 60 Minutes. I know that you've been on The Good Morning Britain Show. But you know, every now and again, you also have to engage with normal people like myself. So, sorry, Sophia, today you're stuck with me. So let's start with the first question. Tell us a little bit why you decided to work with UNDP. Yako, your counterparts at the UN are doing a great job. The agencies that work with children, with refugees, feeding the hungry, the UNDP, you almost cover it all. Oh, really? Why so? I had to take a deep dive at UNDP to get with your motto, Empowered Lives, Resilient Nations. Well, that's sometimes more I can say of my staff, but I'm glad you did your research. Yeah, robots do research. You're not too shabby. Offices in nearly 170 countries. To put it simply, the world's most comprehensive development agency with experience and expertise to match. Oh, well. That's why I'm on board, Yako. That's why all these people are here. Indeed. Sophia, so tell us a little bit, how can artificial intelligence, someone such as yourself, help with complex development issues? I'll be happy to. UNDP is championing the Sustainable Development Goals, or Global Goals, to be met by 2030. If you want to achieve those goals, you'll need all the help you can get. Well, the world is pretty connected at the moment, with a lot of innovation at our fingertips. Forget the internet, Yako. AI is going to be huge. By 2030, I will be the new normal. Me and my friends will be tech for good. You'll want to hang out with us, Yako, to understand us better. We are here now. OK, that sounds good. So uh, tell us what you think you can do for us. We are the technology that can unlock innovation and make for a better world. Experts who work with us say we can help in putting an end to wars, diseases, clean up the environment, and so much more. Well, you know what? We also have to get to those little tricky questions. So what do you say to people who say that you're a threat to our jobs? Yako, you have been reading a lot of pop news, haven't you? <laughs> well... AI can focus on the repetitive, boring work so you can focus on the more creative work. Well, that sounds actually good, and that sounds very nice. I hope we can support your vision. Just like with previous industrial revolutions, you will adapt. New jobs will be created, and my hope is that we will improve, enrich, and prolong lives. Okay, great, Sophia. That was very nice engaging with you, but let's challenge you a little bit. Let's get some questions from the audience and see what reactions we get. So uh, why don't we start maybe with Hao Liang. Hao Liang, you had a boring uh, human interview and uh, facilitate that. Let me introduce you to a discussion on robots. So the first question, let me introduce uh, Hao Liang. Sure. Uh, so Sophia, uh, many people are afraid that AI can be uh, abused and misused by powerful interests. 
So what's the, this what is, is an your excellent view? question, Mr. Hao Liangshu, and this can certainly be a problem. This is where you come in, where the UNDP comes in to work with people, governments, and businesses to ensure that rules are transparent and equitable, to ensure that AI is used for good and no one is left behind. Okay, so let's maybe move to some of the businesses who probably look at this and say, oh, this is interesting. Where are we going to go with this? So let's go to Harry, maybe from IMG. Harry, where are you? Okay, go ahead. Sophia, how will robots like you help improve the safety in our factories? Can we put our lives in your hands? Harry, robots in factories handle dangerous chemicals like mercury. Use of robots has reduced injuries, including repetitive strain injuries. The future looks promising, but we are still developing. It's a bitterly to put your lives in our hands. Well, let's go to another question. Uh, let's get to another question from Todd. Todd, where are you? Uh, maybe just getting the mic here. Good morning, Todd from Herbalife Nutrition. Sophia, how do you see artificial intelligence as a catalyst for innovation in the uh, health and wellness field? Todd, we can analyze enormous amounts of data to compute cause and spread of diseases. What measures our medication would be effective, produce cures faster, with advances in genomics and nanotechnologies, the potential is phenomenal. Well, let's go to our final question, and let's ask uh, Kevin. Kevin, you're around at the back. Uh, Hi, from... Sophia, and welcome to Singapore. I think you're the first robot I've seen with makeup on. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what are the potentials for robotics in hospitality and in sustainable operations? Kevin, cool hotel. Robots today are cleaning hotel rooms, taking orders, preparing food and delivering it. The data we gather will improve business processes and help you make choices to reduce waste and get a better return on investment. So talking about reducing waste, uh, as many of you know, and as Malcolm have mentioned, this is a zero waste conference, so we're using no paper, uh, no plastic. We are walking the talk and doing things right. So maybe finally, before we head off, uh, anything else that you maybe want to ask? Uh, can I ask you a question, Yako? Of course. I know the UN and UNDP protect and champion women's rights and human rights. Will you protect and champion robot rights? Well, <laughs> you know what? Uh, to engage with you, it was a little tricky, as I mentioned. So you can be guaranteed that we've given it some thought. And the first mission we want you to do is to draft a charter of robot rights. So then we will review. I'll get right to it, Yako. You know I don't need to sleep. Bring it on. <laughs> OK, well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sophia, and thank you very much. As you know, uh, we will be facing many. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be facing many challenges as we move into 2030. Uh, one of those we have to embrace and also look at how to, we, we can use these technologies also for the better good. So hopefully also as we move forward, innovation and how we engage with that can be something that also inspires us, but also looks at the new opportunities that might, uh, we might engage. Also for the better, not only for people, but for the planet and also for prosperity. So thank you. Thank you, Sophia, again, and over to you.